Hey, welcome to Neighborhood Playlist. Um, AKA the fat fucks. You know what I'm saying? Because we all feel fat right now. Monica yeah. kicked it off with uh, self loathing. I fatness. just ate a chicken biscuit from McDonald's. Why well, gotta be chicken? I did see her oh. eat it. But I feel Why would you eat now. a chicken biscuit? Because they right were just in you... the office. I don't know. Was I was free. starving. Yeah. <laughs> do you, and Ani, do you feel fat? No. Yes. Yes, I do. You feel fat? That's why I didn't eat the chicken biscuit when I was offered. What did your mom tell you one time? That I'm fat. <laughs> Love this new parenting shit. Anyway, uh, welcome to Neighborhood Playlist. <laughs> I'm DJ Head. I'm Monica. <laughs> I'm Ani. And then one time I passed the TV and I had lost weight, and my brother's like, "Wow, I could actually see the TV when you pass the screen." Whoa. Hey, look. Yeah. Sometimes you got to fat shame people. You know what I'm saying? I was like 13. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Um, wow, we have to bring this up. Okay, happy Monday, guys. Yeah, uh, anyway, oh, whatever day it is. each week we, we choose songs as a collective, and then well, we each pick a song, and then we decide together if they'll get added to the neighborhood playlist. Two out of three votes matter, I guess. We should start going unanimous. That'll make it more. Mm. So when we write it down, song, hold it up, and then Daniel like figures out whether it gets added. Oh, no, but then we can't put our reasons. Why? Yeah, fuck that. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much what we do here. Let's... Let's go. Who went first last time? Don't remember. Don't remember. I don't mind going first. Mm, yeah. All right, go first. All right. I'm really excited Slice about this privilege. one. Really excited about this. This goes out to YBN Corday. He just dropped an album called The Lost Boy. Really dope album, first of all. And a lot of people, I feel like, who hear the name YBN Corday, they automatically think, oh, my God, this is like a mumble rapper. He's from SoundCloud. Because, you know, YBN or whatnot. But I will tell you, if you're a fan of Cole, if you're a fan of Kendrick, if you're a fan of Nas, Biggie, all that. If you're into storytelling, let me just put it that way, and legit, like, hip-hop, this guy is the one for you. This entire album is really good. Now, I'm not gonna... The song that I picked is called Family Matters. And here I am chasing dreams. Ignorant with bliss, worrying about plays and streams. The crazy part is, they don't even say a thing. They don't want me... I don't think this is a song you're going to hear over the radio at all. I feel like this is the kind of song you're going to have to sit down and just listen to by yourself or you're going to have to go out of your way to hear. But everything about this song, the way that he tells the story, the way that he talks about his pain, like you feel what he's feeling and you really start sympathizing with him. I think the whole flow with everything about this song, I don't know what it is, but I started crying. And every time I listen, this song makes me cry because I'm like, shit, like I really feel what he's saying. He's trying to make his life. He's trying to work hard, do everything he can to provide for his family. But his family's life is still going on. It's not like he could pause them or whatever it is. So he just talks about that, the struggles that he goes through. And I'm like, yo, this guy's really dope. This is my song. It just really stuck to me. DJ? DJ? Go. <laughs> um... Yeah, it's storytelling. Uh, I could I could appreciate the song. Like, I listened to it, but I don't really care to listen to it again. So no. No, it's not even that. No for you. Yeah. Um, shout out to YB and Corday. I'm gonna say yes. The song gets added because it's amazing storytelling. Corday is just bar none. I'm gonna say my explanation for my song but yes the song gets added i think that um uh, we just did an interview with him and we talked about this song specifically because he was talking about his family life and uh i was asking him about i was asking him about like what is his family like now versus how it was before like do they show him are they treating him any different now that he's able to help them out and take care of them it's dope so i fuck with car i fuck with yb and Cordae. song gets added i'm gonna go next because my song is also by YB and Corday. YB and Corday, the song is called RMP, aka Rich Nigga Problems. Front row, duh, bro. We don't sit on those bleeds. Ain't your pockets OB? They won't fit in those seats. And we like a co team. Nigga Shaq and Kobe. Like um, I love this song. I think it's fucking amazing. I think YB and Corday is bar none. I said this actually, he came in 16 months ago when he first moved to LA. Three days. Three days into him moving to Los Angeles to sleep on the homie Ace's couch, I told him, I said, in, five, in, in a few years, you're going to be one of the best motherfuckers in the game. And I stand by that. Still another two years ago. But YB and Corday is unmatched in this new generation, unparalleled. Is literally one of the, my favorites 
probably going forward. Probably for the next seven years, YB and Cordae will be at, the, at one of my favorites. Um, the song I chose is because the vibe is just different. It's on some super jazz, funk, like hip hop slash like um, house party type shit. Like, and I think it's it's some to me it's some authentic hip hop shit. Him and Anderson Pack, obviously. Um, I think that the way he was rapping on it. And I think the way that um, they go back and forth is like reminiscent of some real hip hop shit, like old school. Even on even on like two of America's most wanted, Snoop and Tupac was going back and forth like that. The second verse is like that. The first verse is him rapping, talking the shit. And I think that YB and Cordae represents well for light skinned motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Um, and and he represents people with a lisp. He got a lot of representation. You know what I'm saying? He got a hairline that's not all the way back. Yeah, shout out to Cordae. You know what I'm saying? I think that. Uh, this song is really, really dope. I'm gonna go to the hammer first. Um, I like the back and forth, and I like Anderson Pack's voice on it. Um, and I do like like the vibe that it feels more like maybe '90s, early 2000s. So it goes for me. So for me, no, it definitely goes for me. I'm glad Head picked it because he intro that name like the both of us would not be able to. Wow. It's rich nigga problems. Yeah, I'm not saying that. Um, Say rich nigga problems. Rich ninja problems. I don't know what a ninja is. Oh, well, that's your personal problem. Go to Urban Dictionary. No, so this song really goes for me. And back to what Head was saying when it goes back to, like, Snoop and stuff going back and forth. This actually reminded me of Dre and Eminem. And when mm. they're going back and forth, I'm like, holy shit, this sounds like it. But then it also, Anderson actually reminded me of Chance the Rapper and Kendrick for some reason mixed together because of what he's doing with his voice. Like, listening to it, I thought of Kendrick. I was like... Is that? And then I heard like semi chance, and I was like, "Holy crap! Everything about this song is amazing." And like, I completely agree with Head. And when Pete co-signs someone, I don't normally say nice things to Head, but this one I will say. If he co-signs someone, then I'm like, "Okay, this person's gonna pop." Did the same with Villain Park, and I see their road to success as it is right now. RJ saw that. Like, I know he was probably one of the first people on YG Nipsey. Like, let's get that. So when he does say, and I remember when YBN did come up and they talked to him, I think about J. Cole and the 1985 remix. This guy is so ahead of his time. Like, you guys should check out the interview that he did with DJ Head and stuff. Just check it out and your entire mind or view of new school, old school rappers will definitely change your perspective. That was confusing as hell. Just go watch the interview, but this song does go for me. Shout out to YBN. Shout out to YBN Court. Hey, You're man, dope as hell. Fire. Okay, my turn. So my song is Find Him by Comethazine off of Bosky 3.5. Look for his ass till we find him. Spot him, run his ass from behind him. He likes to be mad his eyes in a blind him. Clips like a movie, but you can't rewind My last bitch was cute, but my new... Okay, so I really like the beat on this song. I feel like it's like the Wild Wild West rodeo vibes, but like with actual guns, not like Old Town Road. It's like the real Wild Wild West. Um, I like how he flows. I like how his voice sounds, and I like... A lot of his just like punch lines and wordplay. So yeah, I really like this song. What do you say? I'm going to say that, well, first and foremost, I know that Comethazine and I have not necessarily <laughs> seen eye to eye, you know, different things. And I feel like, you know, although Comethazine is not exactly um, someone whom I would consume his music regularly, this song goes for me. Wow. I'm going to add the song on the basis that I feel like Comethazine has gotten significantly better than that song. What's the name of that song? You Bands. That song is still terrible to this day. It's still terrible. Okay? <laughs> Don't give a fuck how far it went up the charts, how many DJs lied and said they, they fuck with it and they played it. Don't care. The song is still terrible. Okay? This song is way better than that one. Far better than, significantly better than that, Comethazine. Um... I'm glad you didn't give up. You know what I'm saying? West Coast. All right. Um, I guess it doesn't matter as much because it's getting <laughs> added, but it's definitely not getting added for me. Because, like, I do like Comethazine, like, some of his some some of his songs. I'm more of, like, let me just show you this real quick. I'm more of, like, Kendrick and Cole kind of thing. And I feel like most people who do listen to Kendrick or Cole aren't going to go out of their way to listen to this song. Just so because we can bring it has... now? I just wanted to bring this because shout out to Nate, my birthday twin, when we had a Kendrick and Cole theme party for our birthday. Isn't that cool? When do you have a Kendrick and Cole theme party? On my birthday, if you listen to Big Boy's Neighborhood. 
I don't listen to that. That's your personal problem. <laughs> As we're on Big Boy TV. I know. Um, <laughs> no. Listen to that shit. No, but the song like Cole Methodine is dope. I think he's a dope artist. I think he is gonna get really, really far. But this song to me didn't say much. It was really repetitive. There, nothing stood out where I'm like, wait. What but I like song? the shortness and like. Song is a minute, like forty five seconds long. Like I just feel like you listen to it like three times and you know the whole song and you're just like. Well, that to me to means, like, to me, that's nothing. Like, so I you like want a five-minute song? I don't want a five-minute. It could be two minutes. Like, Tap is two and a half minutes. Going Back is two like and a half song. minutes. Sing. Those are my songs. But I don't <laughs> like music that doesn't have substance in it or it doesn't make me want to turn up because I'm not going to be in the club listening to this because if it comes on, I'm be like, what the fuck is this DJ doing? But if I'm in the car and someone puts this on, I'm going to be like, holy fuck, can I get out the car? That kind of thing. Um, But he's still cool. All right, so based on, go. based on Ani's two-minute tangent... <laughs> about comethazine i want him the next video he makes with his friends when he's in a, in, a, in a small wife beater in his living room standing in front of the tv direct all that energy to her do you want to tell them what you're talking about well no i'm just i'm just saying in general uh direct <laughs> all that energy to her because can we put that video you know what i'm saying yeah you can put the video right here <laughs> okay so we don't have the video direct, <laughs> i got the video oh you have it i have it yeah. Um, but shout out to Cole Matheson, God damn it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, no, he seems like a nice guy. I really, really appreciate him getting better. Like, it's a lot of rappers that are not getting any better. Name one. There was actually a... I could actually name a few. There Go was ahead. a song on um, this album or project, whatever it is, that sounded like really West Coast to me, and I thought you would really like it. It's called Dangerous. I'll play it for you after this. Yeah, but play, yeah, that one is me, also another one I went one straight I really to the liked. one you chose. I yeah. didn't go to, I didn't start scrolling through the Comethazine discography at all. Yeah, I, I didn't think you would. Nah. I just thought it was a short that. song. But, guys, so but, but I'm glad but, DJ liked it. But based on the fact that this song is okay, I'm going to listen to the song that you're going to play me off of Comethazine's album. Cool. Ani's not, though. She's going to leave. She ain't fucking yeah. with that. Yeah, are we doing go Wasting My Time? The Time, RJ, No Got No Time. Got you. So, um, we'll still <laughs> add the song to the playlist. I did not fucking with you, Kumatsu. You know what I'm saying? But I if tried. you want to come through and talk about it, neighborhood playlist is no. Not what we're doing with artists. He, welcome, he more than welcome to pull up. See, but I'm just. Gonna we can critique the whole album. My shirt that ought to be fun. Here. <laughs> Daniel, I'm gesturing. Bro, Daniel, do you want to come up front of the camera? And do you want to sit? How- do you want to sit right here? No, he does not want to sit. Who's that you want, Bob? Come on. Anyway, um, <laughs> let's go to Paris. Let's wrap this shit up. Or Europe. Oh yeah. In oh, so uh, you can listen to the songs. The links are in the description, and also comment. We comment back. We have the pictures of Kendrick and Cole in the shirts, dog. Why are yeah. you jealous, though? You jealous? You the... jealous? It's not as small, and it can't fit your fat ass. You got? Uh, I know you're not fat, talking. Fat, fat. Oh yeah, this is kind of big. No, I'm talking about being fat. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Your old mother told you you was fat. Yeah, she did. She did. My mom never told me that. Who said being fat is a bad thing? That's cool. You know, my mom's blunt. Whatever. Your mom smoked a blunt? No, never. She really hasn't. My mom doesn't like smoke. Uh, Well, Monica did her part. You got to do your part. Oh, yeah. Comment. That's what I said. We always comment back, you know? Well, I've had a lot of coffee today. Comment, DM, follow, subscribe. At Big Boy TV. (laughs) I was in tips. Big Boy TV YD or something? What's the name of the show? YT. <laughs> what is it, Daniel? <laughs> Neighborhood Playlist. Hold on. Big Boy what? Big Boy Hold TV. On. <laughs> Hold on. We also got... <laughs> <laughs> we got our prop sign by E40. Oh, shit. That's We're pretty gonna cool. We're going to get all our prop sign. Shout out to Daniel. Oh, he signed Shout it. out. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh. You know what I'm saying? What's up? We need to get Steph Curry, though. So if anyone has new I have a question. I have an inappropriate Curry, question. Yeah. Let us know. How you plan on getting that signed? You know what I'm saying? Oh, this one and this one. This is Biggie. Anyway, uh, it's Neighborhood Playlist. I'm sure there's other things you can get signed.